The ground under the Central Valley is continuing to sink and it's causing big problems for valley farmers. Well, in a century, farmers have been pumping water out of the ground. So much so, the land around here is slowly sinking, a process known as subsidence. The ground is disappearing beneath America's salad bowl and it is happening faster than anyone ever thought possible. New satellite data shows that the Central Valley of California is sinking into a giant hole. We are talking about land dropping 28 feet in some areas. That is enough to swallow a three-story building whole. Farmers are racing to drill deeper wells, but they are fighting a losing battle against physics. This is not a slow geological change. It is an emergency that could cut our food supply by 87% in just 20 years. A valley in free fall. Recent footage and satellite data have revealed something truly scary. In parts of the San Joaquin Valley, the ground is sinking at a rate of two feet every single year. To put that in perspective, that is not just a measurement error. It is a total collapse. It is like the valley is an elevator and someone just cut the cable. Researchers at Stanford University recently shared data that should have been on every news channel in the country. They found that we have lost as much ground height in the last 16 years as we did during the entire 50-year period before that. Basically, the Earth is falling twice as fast as it used to. This is a huge deal for everyone, not just people in California. This single valley produces 40% of all the fruits, nuts, and vegetables eaten in the United States. Think about your almonds, your tomatoes, and your lettuce. Almost all of it comes from this land. But now, that land is vanishing. And get this, even if every single farmer stopped pumping water tomorrow, the ground would still keep sinking. The models show that the earth will continue to collapse for decades, maybe even centuries. So here is the deal. We have spent over a hundred years building a massive agricultural empire on top of something we did not fully understand. The Central Valley spans 20,000 square miles. It generates over $50 billion in crops every year. For a long time, that success was built on a foundation of underground water called aquifers. These are not like underground lakes. They are more like giant sponges made of sand, gravel, and clay. When you pump water out to grow crops, you are taking it from the spaces inside that sponge. In a perfect world, the rain and snow would melt and refill those spaces. But we have been taking out way more than nature puts back in. The crazy part is how much the ground has actually moved. Since the 1920s, some parts of the valley have sunk by 28 feet. That is as tall as a three-story house. For decades, the sinking was slow. It was something people could measure and plan for. But in the last few years, the rate has gone through the roof. We are now seeing bowls forming in the land that are miles wide. These bowls are deep enough that water in the massive concrete canals cannot flow downhill anymore. It just pools up and sits there. But the falling ground is only half of the story. To really understand why the ground is falling, you have to look deep underground. It is not that simple though. Most people think that once you put water back into the ground, the land will just pop back up like a sponge. But that is not how it works with the deep layers of the valley. While the top layers of sand and gravel can bounce back a little, the layers deep down are mostly made of fine clay. These clay layers are sometimes thousands of feet below the surface. They hold a lot of water, but they are very fragile. When farmers pump too much groundwater, the pressure inside those clay layers drops. Without the water to hold the clay particles apart, the weight of the miles of rock and dirt above them starts to crush the clay. And here's the deal. Once that clay is squeezed, it stays squeezed. The tiny particles of clay form new bonds and the space between them vanishes forever. It is not like a sponge being squeezed and released. It is like a car being put into a metal crusher. Once it is a cube, you can never make it a car again. Stanford study from 2024 found that over 90% of the sinking in the Central Valley is coming from these deep clay layers. This is what scientists call irreversible subsidence. It means that even if we had a massive flood and the valley was covered in water, the underground storage space is gone. We are literally crushing the natural reservoirs that make farming possible. The space that used to hold the water is being erased from the map of the underground world, and it gets even crazier. Because the clay is so thick and fine, it takes a long time for the water to leak out. 
This means there is a huge delay. The water we pumped out 10 years ago is still causing the clay to collapse today. Scientists have warned that we have already locked in decades of future sinking. Even if we stopped everything right now, the ground would keep falling because the deep clay is still reacting to the pumping we did years ago. It is a slow motion disaster that we have already set in motion. What most people do not realize is that we are also losing the ability to store water for the future. Every time the ground sinks a foot, that is a foot of storage space that we can never use again. We are destroying our backup plan for droughts. In California, droughts are becoming more common and lasting longer. Without that underground storage, there is nowhere to keep water when it does rain. We are essentially breaking the bucket we use to survive the dry years. The data from the Department of Water Resources is pretty dark. They say that the system that supplies water to 27 million people could see its deliveries cut by 87% within 20 years. That is not a small reduction. That is a total collapse of the water system. The canals are snapping, the wells are going dry, and the ground is still moving. Infrastructure in ruins. The sinking ground is not just a problem for the dirt. It is destroying the massive machines we built to move water around. The California Aqueduct is a giant concrete river that carries water from the north to the south. It is one of the biggest engineering projects in history, but it was designed to work with gravity. Water is supposed to flow downhill, but when the ground sinks, it creates a low spot. Engineers call these subsidence bowls. Imagine trying to slide a ball down a long, straight ramp. If the middle of the ramp suddenly sags and creates a hole, the ball is going to stop and sit in the bottom of that hole. That is exactly what is happening to our water supply. The water cannot get past the low spots. Operators are now having to run the water right at the very edge of the concrete liners. If the ground sinks just a few more inches, the water will spill over the sides. Fixing this is not as easy as just adding more concrete. You cannot build a stable canal on land that will not stop moving. Then there is the Friant Kern Canal. This is another vital piece of the puzzle. It has already lost 60% of its ability to carry water because the ground beneath it has collapsed so much. Repairing just one section of this canal is costing $400 million. And get this, the engineers working on it admit that they are just buying time. They are building the new sections higher, hoping the ground will not sink past their repairs before they finish. It is a race against time that costs millions of dollars every single day. For the farmers, the crisis is even more personal. Over 4,200 home wells have gone dry since 2013. These are families who turn on the faucet and nothing comes out. Many of them are in poor rural areas where they cannot afford to fix the problem. To get to water now, you have to drill much deeper. In the last five years, farmers have drilled over 7,000 new wells. But these are not your grandpa's wells. They are going 2,000 feet deep. Drilling a well that deep costs over $1 million. Only the biggest and richest farms can afford that. The smaller family farms are being left behind, and there is a dark side to this deeper drilling. When you drill a deep well, you are reaching water that fell as rain thousands of years ago. Some of this water was stored underground when Mastodon still walked around California. It is basically fossil water. Once it is gone, it will never be replaced in our lifetime. Hands down, the scariest part is that every time someone drills a deeper well, they make the problem worse for everyone else. It is like everyone is sharing one giant milkshake with thousands of straws. When your neighbor gets a longer straw, they suck up the water before you can reach it. This forces you to get an even longer straw. This race to the bottom is what is causing the deep clay to collapse even faster. We are literally destroying the valley to save the crops for one more season. The price of your next salad is about to skyrocket. The government is trying to step in, but it might be too little, too late. In 2014, California passed a law called the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act. The goal was to make sure that by the year 2040, we only take out as much water as we put back in. It sounds like a great plan on paper, but in the real world, it is causing a total panic. To follow the law, many counties would have to stop farming on huge amounts of land. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of acres that would have to be abandoned. In Kings County, which is one of the hardest hit areas, the local leaders were very honest about the situation. They said that if they stop pumping, the county will become a ghost town. There is no other economy there. 
Without the farms, there are no jobs. Without the jobs, the schools and shops close down. It is an economic death sentence, but the state regulators are not backing down. They placed Kings County on probation because their plan to save the water was not good enough. Now, the farmers are stuck between a rock and a hard place. If they keep pumping, the ground sinks and destroys the canals. If they stop pumping, they lose their livelihood. There is no middle ground. And get this, even if they had the money to fix the system, there simply is not enough water to go around. California usually gets its water from the snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains. But because of the changing climate, that snowpack is shrinking. Even in years when it rains a lot, the water comes all at once in big floods instead of melting slowly. We do not have enough places to store that flood water. Some people suggest flooding the farm fields to refill the aquifers. This is called managed recharge. It is a great idea, but it requires taking the land out of production and turning it into a giant pond. Most farmers cannot afford to do that, so we are seeing a kind of triage happening in the valley. The state is trying to save the most important infrastructure, like the big aqueducts, while basically giving up on other areas. They are deciding which parts of the valley get to survive and which parts will be left to sink. It is a brutal calculation that leaves thousands of people behind. The communities that have the least amount of money are the ones losing their water first. The problem is that the relevance first rule of geology is winning. You cannot argue with the physics of the earth. The clay is collapsing, the water is vanishing, and the laws of man are struggling to keep up with the laws of nature. Every day we wait, the underground storage is crushed a little more. We are losing the very thing that made the California miracle possible. It is a trap that we built ourselves, and now we are realizing that there might be no way out. We are watching the literal collapse of America's food heartland in real time. If the ground keeps sinking and the water storage vanishes forever, where will your next meal come from? Is it time to move our farms elsewhere or is it already too late? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories no one is telling.